Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abom. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stour Bucharest. Two more games for you today. First up, we have a home game against Gaz Metan Medias. And after that, we have the second leg of the Romanian Cup semi final against Kindia Targoviste, where we have a 3 3 draw after the first leg. Uh, we'll see if we can get through that and get through to my final. And as you can see, halfway through the championship group, we have gone top of the table after a very, very poor start. We'll get into that in a minute. But um, if you're enjoying this series, do drop a like down below and leave comments. It's the best way to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do subscribe. Turn on notifications. We're just over 40 subs away from 1,000 now. So yeah, the aggregate score currently stands at 3-3 after the first leg. It was a ridiculous game last time against Kindia. Uh, three goals apiece, uh, all coming before the hour. Uh, it was a mad game. And we go into a second leg at home where hopefully we'll be a bit more favoured and we can maybe get through and win and get through to a final. But we followed that with a very, very poor performance at home against Sepsi. Our first home defeat in a long time. And saw us uh, lose our second game out of two in the championship group after a defeat earlier against Gazmatan Medias, who we face today. So after two straight defeats in the playoffs, things didn't look too good, but they have thankfully picked up. And that started with a 2-1 win away from home against Vitorol, uh, a game where we went behind... Uh, bounced back and managed to get the winning goal. And it was actually an own goal which saw us go 1-0 behind. Netu uh, putting in his own net on 44 minutes. Uh, tried to clear a corner away at the far post, uh, but didn't quite get it right and ended up uh, heading it into his own net. But early in the second half, we equalised as a Nedelay's effort stung the hands of the goalkeeper and Radim Vandes was there for the rebound for his second goal of the season. And five minutes after that, uh, we managed to get the ball back again and Ismihil got us the winning goal on 53 minutes uh, to get an important three points and a point, uh, uh, three points that we really, really needed. Then we went away to FCSB uh, as uh, the top two sides in the league at the time clashed. Uh, we did a team meeting before this one, just trying to lower those expectations a little bit and just try and ease the pressure on the guys. It worked because we won 1 0. Wasn't a great deal to talk about in this match. There were very few highlights, but Ishmi Hill did manage to score in the eighth minute, one of only two shots on target we had. Yeah, I told the lads that, you know, a lot of people would see this as a title decider, but I told them, you know, it's just another match. Just treat it as any other match and you'll be fine. And they were fine. It wasn't a great game, but we got three points, a huge three points. Then we finally broke our duck over Astrid Georgie. We hadn't beaten these guys. In about three years, like five games, and then we managed to win uh, with a big 4 0 win here. Two penalties, but just a, a great performance. We took a 1 0 lead in the first half, and it was at Prestige Mbungu getting his, I think, fourth goal of the season. I might be selling a bit short there. I think he might have six, but he managed to give us the lead in this one. Made some changes around the hour, and substitute Konstantin Grameni, uh, who replaced Vandas, scored to make it 2 0 on 67 minutes. And then our third and fourth goals came in the form of penalties for Ishmael. First one on 72 minutes and one deep into stoppage time to make it 4-0. Astra also ending the match with 10 men as Parnell got a second yellow card on 85 minutes. But a good performance from us even before they went down to 10 men. We were much, much better in this one. Defended well. Even the midfield did well in this one. We went with a double Mizala of Morong and Nedelea with this one with Vasilescu as the deep line playmaker. And that seemed to work pretty well. Morong still had a pretty average game. But better than the 6.4s and 6.3s he's been picking up. Vasilevsky was pretty good and Nedelea was great as well. So a really good performance all around the pitch here. So halfway through the playoffs, we currently sit on 40 points. FCSB drew against Sepsi in their game in hand. So they don't manage to overtake us. They go a point behind us. We're going to take on Gaz now. I'm wondering whether to bring all four games to you in one big video. That might be something that I'm going to do, but then there's a cup final in there as well. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. I'll work it out, but, um, you know, if we get through against Kindia, we'll have another cup final in there as well. One thing we've been employing is a high defensive line, so I think we'll stick with that today. I don't think I'm going to make any changes. We are just three days removed from our last match. So I'm a bit worried about tiredness, but the players all look in pretty good condition. Nezovic is still injured, picked up that in the game against Sepsi. Popov also going to be out for about a week or so with a knee injury. But I think we're going to go with the same 11 for this one. Netsu's actually been playing at left back. Radu had a few poor games, got dropped, and Netsu's actually been pretty good at left back. So we're not going to change the team. After that 4 0 win, we're going to go unchanged and see if we can get through this match and get another three points. Okay, off we go. We're at Stour Stadium. There's an early free kick here for Gaz. 
It's going to go over everyone, and Nikozetsku uh, manages to uh, volley it over. And here is Nechi, who's on a yellow card early on here. We've been very lucky not to have a red card in such a long time. I don't think we had one last season, and we haven't had one this season, so that's good to see. Here is Usman Morong, playing as that left side in Mizala today. Finds Prestige and Bungu, keeps it in play. Here's Nedalea. And Vasilescu can have a go from range, and he scores 1 0, 20 and a half minutes on the clock. Vasilescu with his fourth of the season, and we take a 1 0 lead at home against Gaz. And having that double Mitzala, they kind of move into those channels, and I think that really gives the fullback some problems. As, uh, you know, Morong playing a part in the goal, Nedele gets the assist, and Vasilescu with a fine finish to make it 1 0. Great goal. Maybe double Mez is the way forward. I don't know, it seems to be working. We're getting some good performances out of our midfield. We're getting goals out of it as well. Here's Vasilescu. Goes for the switch to Nedelea, but Nekosetsku with the interception. Got a lot of men to beat here, but Dragnea's managed to get the ball, and it just creeps in off the post. A 13th for the season for Nikolai Dragnea is one of P's, not long after our first goal. Um, but just a good interception there by, by Nekosetsku. Um, Nedelea was... Was facing forward and I think lacked the uh, the concentration there to um, to get the ball back. But um, it's an equaliser for Gaz. Okay, Morong has picked up an injury with five minutes to go in this first half. I think we'll try and get him to half time as Chimpianu heads the ball in from the corner with three minutes to go in the first half. That's his first goal for us. We've had a few centre-half score this season with uh, Manalaka scoring, Sukar scoring. Chimpianu has now got his first goal for us. A simple free header, really. He was unmarked and we take a 2-1 lead hopefully into the second half into half time every one of our shots has been on target our xg is low but we have two goals i'm gonna go for the guard against complacency but i've been pleased with the first 45 minutes morong is unfortunately hurt so we're gonna make the change and bring maximovic on uh, as a ball winner okay we've got a good lead into the second half we go. Let's see if we can hold on and get another three points on the board here. Throw in for Gaz. Interception and clearance by Maximovic. Here's Ishmael. He's going to have to hold it up a bit before some uh, blue shirts come into the box. Or he could go for it himself. He's been brought down. Cold shag with the, uh, the good tackle. Interception by Manalaki. Here's Maximovic. Vasilescu. To Mbungu. Shofran is up in support on the overlap. Here's Nedalea. And Shofren gets it back, cross, and Vandas at the far post. I don't think it's going to count. It has been disallowed. I mean, how often are they actually upheld? How, how often is, does VAR actually give the goal? We're not even going to see a replay. <laughs> okay, 68 minutes on the clock. I think Vasilescu is going to have to come off. Uh, things are starting to get a bit tiring out there. You know, these are the same 11 that played against uh, Astra, so they're going to be tired. Van Nass has not had a good game. Going to bring him back to support. Going to make Mbungu attack in. Just try and maybe switch the attacking focus to the other side. But Tome is on for Vasilescu. Let's just try and hold on to this. I'm going to go back to balance and just see if we can hold on for this uh, for this three points. There's a throw in here for Gaz. 73 minutes coming up. Dragnea to Popa. He's managed to beat Nechu, and Dragnea has a go, but that's uh, that's just over. 10 minutes left, and we've got a set piece to defend. 81 minutes have gone, and it's over again by Kolchiag. We're holding on for our dear lives here. There's some very tired players out there now. Um, Vandas has had a poor game. We're going to take him off. We're going to bring on Grimeni for that left-hand side. That's the position that he scored from against uh, whoever it was he scored against. Great analysis, Andy. And we've made it full time. It's a 2 1 win. It wasn't pretty. It was pretty ugly, actually. But we managed to get the 2 1 victory with the next G of just 0.63. And Gaz, I think, will count themselves unlucky there. And um, they haven't played particularly well. But um, I think we've done well to get the point there. Good defensive performance. Chimpiano got the winning goal. Uh, Manalake did well. Erez was, you know. Good in goal. It's, it's not often he scores less than seven, but that was good. That's a big three points. Now we'll have to see if FCSB get three points themselves. Okay, FCSB haven't played yet. So we are four points clear as it stands, but everybody else has a game in hand and Viteral have two. So with four games to go in the playoff group, Viteral, FCSB, Sepsi and Astra. And I might bring all four of those to you on camera over the next maybe video or two. But there might be a cup final in there as well. Okay, that was a huge match. 
with another big one up next. Second leg against Kindia. It's currently 3-3 after the first leg. We're at home. I think we'll be favourites. Let's see if we can get through and get to a final. A Vitoral lost 3-0 at home against Astra. So they stay on 33 points. Astra joined them on 33. Okay, FCSB in the second leg against Sepsi. Uh, it's 0-0 after the first leg. But FCSB win 4-2. So if we get through Kindia, there will be a cup final against FCSB. That's going to be huge. We could end with a League and Cup double this season. That is entirely possible. We're currently top of the table and we're 90 minutes away from a final. This could be a double season. But we need to get past Kindia first of all. It's 3-3 after the first leg. Okay, it's a cup game. So Grayab's back in goal. He's been good. Not as good as Erez, but he's been good. Again, the team doesn't look that tired. We've got Vitzrol in three days. So we might have to rotate a little bit for that. One change we're going to make though. We're going to change Vandas. And we're going to bring on Dinoza for the left-hand side. Vandas has been a bit poor recently. I might bring Radu back in for this one. But they're both in very similar veins of form. Netu is performing slightly better. So we'll leave him in. That's going to be the team we're going to go for. Let's send it out. And let's see if we can get through the second leg. And it'll be FCSB in a final in the Romanian Cup. If we can do so. But we need to get through this game. The second leg. We need to win really. I'm not sure if away goals are a factor. So I don't really want to draw. But... If it is away goals, we've got three. So it would have to be a bloody high scoring draw for us to, to, to not go through. We just need to not lose. If we lose, that's it. So, you know, we just need to avoid defeat. And I hope that that's going to be enough. And a win will be enough. A win will see us through. All right. I, I said how many goals would there be in this tie? I predicted like 12 or 13. We are 35 minutes into this match. There hasn't been a single highlight, let alone a goal. We have got an injury to Prestige and Bungu though. That's not good. So, Dinoza is going to move to the right wing. Grameni is going to come on on the left. Vandas has been a poor form. Grameni has scored recently. So, we're going to make that change. We're going to turn uh, Dinoza into that inverted winger. So, change has been forced for us. But that's the first thing that's happened in this game. The first leg, I think, had had four goals by this point. So, this is completely different. And we do have a highlight here with about three minutes left of the first half. And... The ball is going to come to Manalake. Can we get a goal late in this second half here? Kremeni is on. And on the ball here. Goes back to Nechu. Here's Vasilescu. Looking for the long ball. Finds Denoza. And he's been brought down. Is that going to be a penalty? No, it's not. It was a clean tackle. Shofran to Chimpianu to Vasilescu. Denoza coming back to claim the ball. And he's been brought down there. But it's going to fall to Kremeni. Here's Morong. Back to Kremeni. And it's going to be a clearance by Lozev. Only as far as Nechu. We are coming at them here. Not getting shots away, but we just keep coming forward. That's good. Ishmael to Grimeni. Morong. Ishmael, Grimeni. Have a go. Go on, shoot. Oh, it's in. Konstantin Grimeni gets his third of the season. With two minutes to go in the first half. Here's another late first half goal. And it's Grimeni that gets it. I mean, he's gone under the radar this season. And he's, he's put out some good performances um, from the bench. Doesn't start very often. I'm not even sure if he started a single match this season. But he's proven to be a valuable player. And we haven't really given him a lot of game time this season. But we're going to halftime. 1-0 up. It's a 4-3 lead on aggregate. If we hold on and win this uh, second leg, we will be through to a final. But we need to hold on. We can't slip up now. If we go behind, if we lose, we're, we're, we're out. And Kindy go through to the final. A draw, I imagine, will, will, will be enough for us. Although if there's no aggregate, then the draw would send it to extra time. So really, we need to win this. And we have a 1-0 lead, 57 minutes on the clock. It's a clearance by Nechu, but not too far. It's Armash now. To Kubler. And Pasareka to Alexandrov. And it's an equaliser for Kindia. Denislav Alexandrov equalises from range with 58 minutes on the clock. 1-1, 4-4 on aggregate. I'm going to check now. Because I think I need to check. Away goals used. It scores their level after 90 minutes. So a draw. Unless it's like 4-4. Should be enough. It's 1-1 as it stands. So as it stands we will still be through to the final. But Kindia. If they score now and go in front. Then it will be all for them. And they've got to throw in there. We can't lose this. We we, we, we cannot lose this. Lozev. Pasarica to. There's that mustard magic guy again. 
Okay, Nechi wins the ball there. Manalake clearance. Up to Ishmael. It's a good long ball. Ishmael to win it. He does. It's 2-1. It's 5-4 on aggregate just before the hour. Now let's try and hold on to this lead. We do not want to go behind again. And we're at nine goals. Finally, this game has come to life after about 35 minutes of nothing happening, really. A great long ball by Manalake and Ishmael with a nice finish on the right foot. A powerful finish as well. 2-1 on the night. 5-4 on aggregate. 20 minutes to go. Going to have to make a change. Uh, Dinoza hasn't been too good again, but we'll bring him up to support. Vasilescu is going to come off. Toma is going to come on. Come on, guys. 15 minutes away from a final here. Try and calm those nerves and hold on. 10 minutes to go. Are we going to go through to a final? There may be something late on here. 86 minutes. Uh, we're going to make another change. Morong is going to come off. Maximovic is going to come on as a ball winner. Go defensive for four minutes. We just need to make sure we don't lose. If we concede one goal, that will be fine. Uh, oh, dear. Grameni is injured. We've made all three subs. Okay, we're going to have to play a few minutes with 10 men. But we've gone defensive. But we're through, to, we're through 95 minutes. The game should be over any second. And that is it. We're through to the Romanian Cup final. A 2-1 win on the night against Kindia. A 5-4 aggregate win. Sends it through against FCSB in the Romanian Cup final. Congratulations to Stauer. It was a very close couple of games. That first leg, 3-3, was very, very tight. This one was close as well. But we managed to get through to a final, which will be against FCSB. And Bungu breaks his leg late in the game, and that's going to be six to nine months out. He's going to miss the remainder of the calendar year, you'd think. Not good at all for Mbungu. Uh, and Grameni is going to be out for about a week with a knee injury, so he'll miss the game against Vitorol. And I would hope that he'll be back for the, uh, the league game against FCSB. And there you have it. Stawa Bucharest are going to play FCSB in the Romanian Cup final. Going to be at Constantin Radulescu, uh, which is Cluj's stadium. I was expecting it to be in the Arena Nationale because that's where Romania play a lot of their national games. But it looks like we're going to be playing this in Cluj. Okay, we've got back-to-back -back games against FCSB. Got a league game. And then three days later, we face them in the Romanian Cup final. That's going to be interesting. Here's what we're going to do. The next episode, we're going to have that triple header. We're going to do Viterol and then both games against FCSB. That league game at home, which could decide the title. And then the Romanian Cup final. If we haven't confirmed the title before our last two games, we'll play both of those. And that's going to be a bonus video that's going to come out on Friday. But Thursday, we'll have Viterol and both games against FCSB. But two wins today. I mean, after the last episode, that's good to see. A big win against Gaz and a huge win in the second leg against Kindia. Okay. Uh, FCSB lost 3-0 at home to Gaz. So that gap at the top stays at four points. Viterol and Sepsi also share points, which is actually pretty good. So that gap at the top stays at four points with four games to go. This is going to be an incredibly close season again between us and FCSB. And if we beat them next episode in that league game, I think that will confirm the title for us. If we win the two league games next episode, I think that will confirm the title. Because if we beat FCSB with a four-point lead, that goes to seven with two games to go. So if we win both of our league games next episode, Viterol and FCSB, we will win the league. And then we've got a cup final as well. We could win two trophies next episode. So next episode, we will face Viterol. We will face FCSB twice in the league and in the cup final. And if we win all three of those games, then we'll have won two trophies. We'll win the league and we'll win the cup. So make sure you do not miss it. And you know what? Because there's so much at stake, I'm going to make it a premiere on YouTube. So Thursday, I don't know if it'll be at six o'clock. It might be a bit later than that. But we're going to do a premiere on YouTube, so I'm going to be in chat while this all happens. So it's all going to come together next episode. Three matches with championship and cup implications. Do not miss it. And that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and leave comments. If you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe, turn on notifications, and make sure you're here for next episode because we could be winning the league and the cup in our next video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you then. Goodbye.